The, the teacher that I first think of is John Reed, R-E-I-D, a geology professor. Um, I met John because I was a elementary school teacher in a small rural public school for 25 years. And I partnered with John, who was a college geology professor, because John had this whole different sense of the possibility and capacity of students than other people I had ever met. John worked with undergraduates, even freshmen in college, but instead of having them do entry-level work, he immediately put those freshmen involved in doing high-level research, graduate-level research, research that was publishable in journals, because he, he felt like, why not just dive in and do important work right away, and kids will learn the basics as they're excited to do the real research. And I thought, if John can do it with those kids, why can't I do it with elementary kids? And so uh, with John sort of as my role model, I brought fifth and sixth grade students to work in his college laboratories, and we did water quality testing for my entire rural community uh, using a mass spectrometer in his office, working with his college students and my elementary students. And over the years, we did a study of uh, the quality of water in all the wells in my town. We did another study of the quality of surface water in town. And we did a study of the radon levels in homes in the town. All of this sort of adult level scientific research done by fifth and sixth grade students. And that was entirely inspired by this John sort of limitless sense that if you give kids important work to do, uh, they will rise to it.